Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only, so please do your own due diligence as I am not a financial advisor. So for those of you who do not know, my name is Ali and I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. So through this channel, I would like to carry out some stock analysis and uh, near the end of the video, I have a short five minute trading lesson to um, increase your knowledge, reduce your risk and improve your strategy. So please stay tuned to the end. So let's make a start on the first uh, stock analysis. And before we do that, uh, anybody who has not uh, traded uh, using Trading212, please try and help support the channel by clicking on the link. This will enable you to get a free share and also will help me uh, as well as I will receive a free share and uh, without further ado let's get started a uh, quick recap of yesterday's uh, stock analysis so uh, tick symbol alpp and tick symbol dsgt uh, alpp had a fantastic run closing in, in excess of uh, 30 percent uh, at seven dollars thirty and dsgt after the previous day's trading with a fantastic run consolidated uh, uh, just below one percent uh, decline so uh, that's good news for both of those stocks so today i'd like to bring you a new stock i've just in uh, invested in uh, this is a pharmaceutical stock uh, it's ticker symbol r-i-g-l uh, and uh, this is a um, pharmaceutical company so if we if we have a look at the uh, quick due diligence that we can do straight away on the weeble robin hood or trading two or not to that, we can see here that uh, Regal Pharmaceuticals is a clinical stage biotechnology company uh, and it's engaged in developing and providing novel small molecule, molecule drugs that improve the lives of patients with immune and hematological disorders, cancers and rare diseases. So uh, it's involved in research. We want to now as investors look at some of the financials and some of the prospects and some of the history. So let's start with the financials so if we have a quick look on the same app and look at the financials we can see here uh, from the income statement uh, the company's revenues have increased previously reported from 43 million to 90 million absolutely excellent trend there so this uh, we can see here is going in the right direction the company is not profitable so that's going to happen hopefully fingers crossed in the future Quick look at the balance sheet that has been reported. There we can see the company is, is very healthy from an asset's point of view. So it's in a strong position there in terms of not having uh, a lot of debt. Uh, and uh, the latest reported assets being in excess of $147 million and liabilities uh, just over $93 million. So that's, that's a good positive start. Uh, okay, so now let's do some uh, further due diligence. So just having a look at the executive summary here, uh, Regal Pharmaceuticals, we can see uh, just last updated on the 5th of, 5th of February 2021, we can see here the market cap is $728 million, so not huge, so it's an emerging company, uh, let's move on and see what else we can see. So we look at here the indicators now for market performance, so the 7 day return. Uh, is uh, absolute excellent 28% uh, compare this with the US similar biotech companies and the general US market so the US biotech companies on average seven day return has been 6% just over 6% and the general US market 5% so we we are we have seen uh, uh, in the last seven days a, a, a bullish return uh, which is good. Uh, let's now have a look at the one-year return. So one-year return of uh, our tick symbol RIGL is in excess of 100%. So close 102.6%. Very very positive. Similar, we could do a comparison with the similar US biotechs. The average of the combined companies there was 42.2%. So uh, this this is certainly uh, on the top side, which is which is good. And the compa comparing with the general US market. 24% uh, so this this uh, puts us in in good position so we can see just the final two points there the return versus industry it's 42% um, 
exceeded the biotechs at 42.2 percent with they had and it's also exceeded the u.s market so fantastic news there let's delve a little bit deeper in terms of future growth so we can see now that Regale Pharmaceuticals forecast to perform in the next one to three years based on five analysts is a 60.8% forecasted annual earnings growth. So very, very positive, very strong, uh, fast growing company. Let's look at now potential further earnings and uh, potential for the future. So earnings versus saving, savings rate, R-I-G-E-L. RIGL, sorry, is forecast to become profitable over the next three years. So it's not profitable right now, but it's moving in the right direction. We've just seen that with an increase in the revenue. Uh, earnings versus market, it's also forecast to be profitable over the next three years, which is above average market growth. So that's good. Uh, there is also high growth earnings expected to become profitable over three years with high growth earnings. Uh, its revenue 28.1 percent per year increase is forecast to grow much much faster than the u.s market uh, and let's now have a look at um, this chart here which is earnings and revenue growth forecast so if we look at here the chart which goes up to 2025 we can see uh, the potential here is is uh, is absolutely excellent right now we are just um uh, approaching um, 2021 the start and the projection we can see uh, for 2025 is is uh, the trend is is upwards in terms of revenue and earnings growth so that's that's very good so now let's have a look at some news just before we look at the news we just one more thing to going to check and that is a quick risk analysis and we can see here uh, that because the earnings are forecasted to grow uh, and have already grown, uh, there is no significant risk detected uh, based on the um, stock analysis there. So let's have a look at the news. So uh, this is uh, dated uh, January the 29th. So this is uh, very, very recent. We can see there Regel has just been awarded a $16.5 million contract from the US Department of Defense for phase three clinical trial of uh, for. Let me just try and pronounce this. Fostam, Fostam, oh, Fostamatinib in COVID-19 patients. So excuse the pronunciation there as I'm not a uh, pharmaceutical expert. Uh, but what we can see here is that there is a, a contract awarded by the US Department of Defense. Absolutely excellent. And what the, the other thing as investors that is looking good for us is that the phase is not phase one, not phase two, it's phase three. So we're looking at final stages. Uh, very, very promising. Uh, one more news uh, st uh, story, which is even more recent. We can see here uh, as an investors, this is very, very important to pay attention to this. Uh, $18.37 million expected in uh, sales for Regal uh, Pharmaceuticals. And if we just look at the very, very bottom there, we can see here the firm is expected to announce its next quarterly, next quarterly uh, earning results on Thursday, February the 25th. Uh, so put this in your diary. I do expect this share price to generally trend upwards in, in anticipation of this with uh, some uh, positive results, hopefully. So let's just look, uh, finish off here uh, by looking at possible entry points. So as I said, I have invested in uh, Regal. Uh, it was late on uh, close of play on Friday. I invested in this uh, as an opportunity in terms of the graph uh, and my uh, price here. My average price was four dollars sixty four. It closed. Sorry, four dollars sixty six. My average price and it closed at four dollars sixty five. So uh, around about level. Good news is after hours, uh, pre-trading after hours was uh, up in excess of 8%. So there is there is momentum upwards. That's fantastic news. Uh, in terms of a strike price, at the moment it's trading $4.65. Please put this on your watch list and consider any strike price below $4.40. Uh, and consider holding uh, and monitoring your investment if there is. Uh, significant growth cash out profits and uh, use a stop loss uh, 
uh, to protect uh, against decline. It is a small company. It is considered as a penny stock with risk. Um, but certainly I, I do an anticipate some uh, continued growth uh, prior to the earnings. Next uh, uh, stock analysis I'd like to bring you is ticker symbol INSG, a uh, company called Insego. Uh, this provides fifth generation 5G intelligent internet uh, uh, device to device cloud solutions. So I just invested in this at $19.76. It closed at $19.80. I do believe there is lots of potential in here. So we're going to have a quick look at the um, financials as well so in terms of the financials we can see here um, that the revenues uh, for this company are increasing so there's been a 36 percent increase to 227.8 uh, million dollars so that's moving in the right direction i expect that to to continue growing uh, with uh, more market share and um, more growth because uh, cloud solutions 5g mobile solutions cloud networks is it, it's a huge huge growing market area and i think this company is well positioned uh, okay so let's now look at the uh, company website a quick look at the uh, company website uh, and and see see what they tell us uh, here about themselves so let's have a look at the page here and we can see they have a his history of innovation. The main focus seems to be for the last 25 is what focusing on wireless networks. So right now they're working on 5G. Uh, we can see here they have the first commercial mobile hotspots 5G, first complete 5G portfolio. So uh, they, they, you know, they, they are innovating. Uh, in terms of history, they, they've worked at 4G with the highest performance in the market, according to their website from the year 2000s, again involved in 3G uh, and MiFi hotspots. So that's good. In the 1990s, they, they were involved in 2G. Uh, so they have fa faster, smarter, better wireless experiences. Uh, 5G leaders designed and developed in the USA, powerful partnership with uh, industry leaders. Uh, and best of breed technologies. So absolutely fantastic there. Let's have a look at some of their products. Uh, they're involved in mobile broadband, fist, fixed wireless access. Um, and we can see they also have Enterprise SAAS, which again is a very forward looking. They have edge, edge computing and just looking here, their core values, they're market driven, they're customer focused uh and um it's it's a forward-looking company okay so now let's have a look at possible strike price okay so uh once you put this on your watch list so in terms of a strike price it closed at $19.80 i would consider any investment in here uh if you put this on your watch list i think a, a good good entry point in here would be anything below $19.40 if we look at the history in terms of the share price Across the week, it closed in excess of 7% up. On the month, in excess of 38% up. Uh, three months, over 109% up and 87% um, up on the year. So certainly fantastic um, growth potentials there. So please put this on your watch list and uh, consider a, an entry point below uh, $19.40. Now time for lesson of the day uh, in the previous uh, lesson of the day if you prefer to look at that in the previous video we looked at trading hours and understanding general uh, patterns in trading hours in terms of how to adjust our uh, um, investments and prices so today we're going to look at uh, understanding in a bit more detail a, a term that is commonly referred to by many analysts and that is market cap. So market cap and market capitalization. So what, what does this mean? So it's, um, we'll have a look at the screen on, on here now. Let's follow this. So it refers to the total value of a publicly traded company's shares, uh, short for market, market capitalization. So market cap is one way that an investor uh, can evaluate how much a company is worth. So determine the company's market cap simply, but multiply the share price by the number of shares outstanding. So let me just try and make that into a very simple scenario with an, a, a simple example. So imagine you buy a pizza, uh, you cut the pizza into five pieces, uh, and then for you have five people, as an example, each person uh, now has to pay three pound 
for each slice of pizza. So what we have here is five slices of pizza. So that represents the number of shares. Uh, three pound for each per, uh, slice of pizza. Uh, so we have a market cap of uh, five times by three, which is 15. So five slices of pizza, three dollars for each pizza, market cap $15. So that's a simple way of understanding it. Let's have a look at why it's used. So if we, if we look at that, it's, it's one of the best measures of a company's size. It can tell you a lot about what to expect when you buy a stock. So let's have a look at, first of all, large companies. So um, before we read that, just look at the very last uh, 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 part of there where I've said large companies generally have less risk. So these tend to be st stable and mature businesses, proving themselves over time, weather difficult business conditions, and they emerge stronger. So the growth prospects for large companies can be limited. So for example, if we look at, let's say, Facebook or Google, uh, these kind of companies, it's unlikely they're going to give you three, four, five hundred percent return. They have achieved that already in the past um, when they were not as huge as they are now. But benefit of these companies is less risk. So let's now compare that to smaller companies. Smaller companies have a lot more room to grow. So uh, if we look at Alpine for Enter uh, Alpine for Enterprise that we uh, have invested in. Uh, the growth in has been in, in excess of two thousand percent in in one year. So that is phenomenal because it's an emerging company. It's a small company, and when you invest in that. There's much, much more risk, but much, much more return. So uh, these are riskier business models uh, and their odds of failure are usually much, much higher. So what we have there as a conclusion, more risk, more, more potential reward. Uh, in your portfolio, it's always a, a, a good idea to diversify your portfolio and put the majority of your investments in safe and secure investments and use the a minority of your investments for the penny stocks and the smaller companies that's the best financial advice from that point of view to minimize your risk but obviously uh, you know consider only using money you're prepared to lose when you make such investments in shares because this is very volatile the market can change and um, it's not really uh, suitable for money you're going to use for essential payments such as food rent etc okay so that brings us to the end of today's uh, video thank you very much for watching please join me again in the next video so stay, stay tuned